Wouldn't it be nice to play a round of golf on a day like this? Ah, uh, but we're out here to troubleshoot. Do you see any problems with this fairway? The ground is a little uneven beneath my feet. And, if you look closely, there are some brown spots nearby. One of the best and easiest ways to figure out if certain insects are damaging turf is to do a soap flush. You basically get a bucket or gallon jug and fill it with water, add one to two tablespoons of liquid dish soap per gallon of water, and pour it on and around the damage like we're doing here. The best time to do this for mole crickets is early in the morning. It's a little hard to see anything at first because of all the bubbles. We put these grids down to make it easier to count, but you do not need a grid. The bugs won't make any noise, so watch for insects to emerge from the soil. They'll be wriggling around or climbing onto whatever grass is present. This works well for caterpillars, some beetles, and mole crickets. Unless you have great distance vision, it helps to get close because the insects stop moving soon after they come out. That's what we're looking for. This tawny mole cricket is coming out of a tunnel trying to escape from the soap solution. If there's a lot of leaf litter on the turf, a mole cricket could blend in a bit because of its light brown color even after it comes out of hiding. What you do with the cricket is really up to you. Who knows, if you collect enough of them, you could sell them as a delicacy in a market in Thailand.